Good evening, my beauties. How's it going? It's your old pal Aiden coming at you from Universal Studios, Florida for a very special night of Halloween Horror Nights. Now, I still have yet to come to Halloween Horror Nights. I went to the team member preview for an hour, didn't do anything, didn't buy anything, and then kind of dipped. So we're doing it for real this time, okay? Have my wallet, have my credit card on hand, ready to go. So let's just go in and have some fun. I'm excited. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. We're in. I'm excited. I really don't know where to start. I know some of the regular attractions are open. Not really interested in that. Maybe if we have time, but no. From other guest feedback, no one really comes here for the regular attractions. First house of the night, doing the Bride of Frankenstein. I am excited. I've only been in one haunted house my entire life, so this is going to be an experience. Oh man, I do not know what to expect. I'm more excited. Okay, my first haunted house was like two years ago, which is, I don't know, that's very sad. But I'm actually more excited about this than I was about that one. And the haunted house that I went to back at home was pretty well known in that area, so we'll see how it goes. 20 minutes later. Alrighty, so first house, Bride of Frankenstein. I gotta say, that was strangely enjoyable. Quite loud, but that's alright, I can deal with that. I will admit though, they were pumping like some kind of smoke through it, and I was just like, whoa! Like I could have sworn, like they were pumping some kind of Pirates of the Caribbean smoke through that thing. Alright, next up we got the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. This might actually be the first line that's actually like true to the posted wait time. This feels like it's been more than 35 minutes, but looks like we're just about to go in. So uh, we'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, thoughts on Texas Chainsaw Massacre? I liked it. Although I will admit the entire time I'm walking through, I'm just like, I have no soul. What's the line? There you go, man. I about forgot how to turn it off. <laughs> Hi, how are you doing? Whoa, mama, that looks good. All right, I know you probably can't see me very well, but I got me some of this cool juice. Yes, I'm treating myself tonight with alcohol. This is really good. Okay, if any of you out there can drink, try the ghoul juice, oh my gosh. Let's take a peek in the tribute store. Haven't been in here in ages. <laughs> So this is more or less the icon room, if you will. So all the different HHN icons will be presented in here. Okay, now, hang on just a second. Tell me, tell me this guy does not look like Marilyn Manson. Like, just tell me he doesn't. All right, welcome to the hallway. So, this is probably one of my favorite rooms just because of how interesting it is, if you will. So, if you look at these pictures, they're not your ordinary pictures. So, I think if we look at this one first, I mean, it's pretty obvious who these two lovelies are. So, basically, you paid, what was it, like 200, 250, something like that? You could have your face Photoshop in one of these various pictures like this guy for example if you don't know who this is then something's wrong with you but honestly like now that I think about it if I had heard about that I probably would have partook in something like this this is actually pretty cool and when you think about it it's like they have room for more like right over here so maybe they're still doing it who knows Yeah, so this is this is literally the line to check out. Like, like this one, you know they're getting serious. Oh my gosh, I don't know what to think. Okay, now these are cool. So they just brought in some hot sauces. Now, if you know me personally, you will know that I am a hot sauce connoisseur. Now, I'm curious about the pumpkin spice one because it's like like pumpkin spice and various peppers. I don't know about that. Now. The ghost tonic, I feel like, would be more on my level. Just because, again, like, I love, I love and live for anything spicy. <laughs> so maybe eventually I'll get one of those.
lot of fun. Like, I am like actually enjoying myself. Like, now that I can actually come out here, spend some money on some good old alcohol. <laughs> no, not really the alcohol, but still, like, I'm enjoying this. Oh. Aw. Didn't want to get into the thumbnail. Come on, I need a thumbnail. So, because I'm still relatively new to the whole, you know, alcohol, beer, booze game, you know, the ghoul juice, it's its up there. It's up there on my list of the uh, three, four, five drinks I've had so far since I've turned 21. Uh, Alrighty, Beetlejuice is up next. I'm excited. I love Beetlejuice. So, I will admit, while this line is definitely moving, this, this is the real deal. Like, wait times are actually starting to go up, which is surprising. Much later. Oh, here we go. I'm excited. Much, much later. Alrighty. Thoughts on the Beetlejuice house. I gotta admit, that one was more fun than anything. But at the same time, I have no soul, so I wasn't... Well, no. That was a lie. I kind of got a little frightened near the end when the old snaky snake Beetlejuice comes out. But yeah, that was fun. So being that I haven't even had dinner yet, I kind of made a wrong turn and went back into the tribute store. I do want to get some goodies though. I had some goodies last time. I kind of did a sort of film of them, but decided, yeah, just trash it. Seems like I have no idea where the line starts, so I'm like Squidward, who's in that seven mile spanking machine, just going, is this where the line starts? All right, so let's open this up. Now, again, I've had the gummy heart before, but I tried filming it, but realized I didn't really want to use that footage. So this is going to be the official taste test of the gummy heart, if I can get it open with one hand, because, you know, that's how the vlogger life goes. Yeah, it's like, you can't really see it that well, but I promise you, it's, it's oh, yeah, it's cold, very flabby. It's weird. It smells, kind of smells like cough medicine, but that's going to be cherry anything for you. It's good. A little tartness to it, but I really like it. This cup here. Didn't get your fill of blood. There you go. <laughs> uh, look at these minions. <laughs> I want you all to go in there. And give them hell! <laughs> oh yeah, look, look at this line that we get, that we get to wait in. Literally, it jumped from like 25 to 45 within the course of like 5-10 minutes. Yeah, this is probably going to be the last house we do. Alrighty, well, just about to head into the last, probably maybe the last house of the night. I don't know, but uh, we'll see y'all in a little bit. I gotta say, the icons one. I'm glad I went. I'm glad we went in that one. That was pretty good. What's interesting is that the ending scene, there'll be one of the different icons there, and I was like, you know what? I kind of want to see Jack at the end, and what do you know? We get Jack. How cool is that?
think out of like all the scare zones, this area is by far my favorite. Oh look, there's the uh, pumpkin man. Uh, you don't want to get in my thumbnail? Okay, I see how it is. I see how it is. A few moments later. All right, so I guess while I'm like right here, I gotta say, this has been such an amazing night. Like, we have literally like five more minutes till we close, but oh my gosh, this, hands down, probably some of the most fun I've had. And truth be told, even as a guy who doesn't really get scared of things anymore, I still found a way to enjoy it. Like, that's insane, think about that. All right, well, we bid a fond farewell to Universal Orlando's Halloween Horror Nights, my very first Halloween Horror Nights, as a matter of fact. I gotta say, I will definitely be coming back. All right, well, it's that time where we have to make our way to the parking lot. Where am I again? I'm King Kong something. I actually got a pretty decent spot, uh, 412. Usually I'm in either like three or four, but still, I, I should mention this, I never get Jurassic Park, King Kong, or Jaws. I'm always in either E.T. or Cat in the Hat. Not that it really matters, but I mean, hey, just putting it out there. All right. Let's go find a car. Again, that's why I like having my car because not many people in Orlando drive a 2021 and up Kia K5. So it's pretty easy to find. Oh, I see her. I see my baby. I don't even have a name for her. What should I name her? Let me know in the comments. Alrighty. Well, now is the time where we say so long, farewell. I forget the rest of the lyrics. But I had a blast tonight. I'm glad I got to come out here. Special thanks to my special friend for joining me on this adventure. He does not really want to be mentioned, even though he's a fellow creator. I will respect his wishes. But uh, yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you did, give it a like. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and turn on my notifications down below. Thank you all so very much for watching. Love you all so much. Take it easy and stay beautiful, my friends.